Just taking a quick look at this new Jackery 1000 Plus. So this is actually an, a model that I'm quite excited to take a look at. You know, if I was going to buy one Jackery, I think this is the one. I will talk about the reasons why. But um, the, the main kind of appeal with this unit, to me at least, is the unit itself. These Plus models, they can you can expand them with other batteries and stuff like that. I, I wouldn't recommend kind of going that route with this model. If you really want to expand your capacity and just kind of have more of like a home backup system i think you're going to want to go for the, the 2000 plus or even the other models we'll talk about the reason why but um the main appeal with this unit i think is just the the, the standalone unit the specs everything you get in this kind of like small pretty portable package and in fact they you know they say it right here more power in a smaller size right so this is the big appeal is to actually have something like this right 2000 watt inverter so that's all you need <laughs> that's all you need almost every single appliance you know that plugs into a standard wall outlet is going to be at 1800 watts or less and then you know 1264 watt hours right i mean that's a decent amount of capacity and then of course you know if you get the solar panels and stuff like that you can always charge back up right so and then this unit only weighs about 33 pounds and then of course this is this is with LFP batteries, right? So 33 pounds. So they did a good job. Now it's not quite as light as kind of my, my number one <laughs> favorite in this, uh, in this size class is actually the unit I have, a Delta II, right? That, that's only 25 pounds. But still, you know, this Jackery offers uh, a lot. You know, obviously it offers more capacity. It offers more uh, solar capability. And it does have this expansion capability, so up to five kilowatt hours. So that's if you get three of the uh, battery, extra batteries, battery packs, they call them. Um, now, what I was saying kind of in the intro is I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that with this unit because these battery packs are very limited. Um, so, you know, this is just really unfortunate to me. Um, they basically can't do anything, right? There, there's no uh, USB outlets. There's no outlets on it at all, and you can't charge them independently either, right? So if you want to charge them, you got to hook them up, and you got to use those big cables. This is actually what I just drew there. It's almost an understatement that the cables are are really big, really beefy, and they stick out a lot, right? So um, if you want to kind of have to, you know, deal with the, the the cables and stuff like that, and have the extra batteries, like I said, go with the 2000 plus, right? Because those those um, extra batteries, you can actually charge them with a ton of solar, like a, a ton of solar, like I, I forget what it is, like 1200 watts or something on each extra battery. Now they still don't have any outlet ports, but still that, that gives you a reason to kind of buy those batteries and just gives them some extra, you know, functionality. Otherwise, I would say, honestly, um, save your money, man, like save your money and go for something else. Go for something that's going to give you some, uh, you know, some, something that you can use. So here's, here's kind of a weird comparison. Maybe you might think it's weird, but honestly, for about the same price, you could get one of the old Jackery 1000s, right? Now, the specs on this thing aren't great, but guess what? The extra battery doesn't give you any specs, really. <laughs> you could buy any other power station, basically. I'm just kind of giving this example. Heck, you could even buy the, the new 300 Plus, the little tiny Jackery that, that they just came out with, right? That's only 300 watt hours. And you might say, well, the extra battery is 1,200 watt hours. But again, you can't do anything with it. You can't charge it. You know, even the, the little 300 plus, it can take 100 watts of solar, right? So if you had that thing sitting out all day, you could get a, an extra 300 watt hours, right? So you have the 300 watt hours of the battery. You could get another 300 watt hours easily. So that's 600 watt hours. You're, you're, getting, you're getting towards the 1,200 already, right? You're getting there. That 300 plus has even got 100 watt USB sees right and you got the little tiny inverter 300 watt pure sine wave that would be perfect to run just like a little tv or something right and you wouldn't need to have the 2000 watt inverter running <laughs> you know for small loads and you wouldn't be wasting a ton of power and then something that's I kind of find interesting here i've never seen this on a jackery model before because they always show these exploded views check this out we get this new like uh metal box that kind of goes around this is the heat sinks are in here and the capacitors and then obviously the, the little fan. So I've never seen them actually use this. Basically, you know, these, this whole part of, of it would just be exposed inside the unit. And so this is interesting. I wonder what their reasoning for this is. I, I think maybe they were actually doing it to kind of disperse the heat a little bit more because, you know, if you have Jackery's, any of these Jackery models, kind of the, the top of, you know, the plastic case here, 
could get quite warm, right? So this might just, uh, it kind of might just disperse the heat throughout, right? Now the charging, you know, this is all good specs. It, it, basically every Jackery that's come out within the last couple of years, all the pro models, all the plus models, excellent, basically top of the class charging specs, really. 1.7 hours from the wall. Again, with that charge shield te technology, the actual amount going into the battery is going to vary. And then, you know, the, the solar capability is still, it's not quite as good as like the 2000 plus or the 3000 pro that can do like 1200 watts, 1400 watts, right? But still for, you know, 1200 and what was it? 96 watt hours, you can do 800, right? <laughs> I mean, this is still a big time number, 800 watts of solar, two inputs. So that's how I love that too, because it gives you some flexibility. You know, you can have two different sources charging this thing at the same time. So, so actually, you know, there's, it's 400 watts on each input and then you double that to 800 watts and it is up to 60 volts. And then yes, of course, this model does get the Jackery app as well. Now, just to kind of do a quick design review of this unit. <laughs> now, when you first look at this, you might say this looks just like all the other models, but they actually made some changes to this unit. That's, that's actually kind of interesting. Um, so, you know, basically right off the bat, we get all the covers have been removed. So this is just, I'm, I actually am really happy to see this. I mean, it almost looks like a cleaner design, even though that was the, the purpose of the covers. <laughs> but, you know, basically if you remove those covers, it, then it just looked horrible, right? And just from, you know, a functionality standpoint, you know, if you want to use it, it's just nice. <laughs> you know, like the light, you just turn it on, boom, you got light. The other change that we get that I'm really happy to see as well, guess what? We get a separate switch to turn on that that car socket so you know before the the other plus models and the other pro models they decided for some reason that whenever you would just turn the, the power on to the unit that would come on so you know that was just going to waste power that was just kind of silly in the older jackery models you could always turn that on separately as well so it was kind of weird that they got rid of that but guess what for the 1000 plus here they brought it back now a design detail that i'm not too crazy or not too happy to see is that the the little orange inserts on the side here they used to have this really nice little design detail where they had these little exposed screws. They are actually nice screws too, right? They, they were like a stainless steel screw with an, with an Allen head on it, right? It just, it had a nice little detail that kind of made these units look, you know, really rugged, really well built, almost like a well-crafted little box. Now, speaking about this orange piece, I was kind of disappointed to see that they kept it orange, right? So I, I think, you know, they, they've kind of been, if you take a look at like the 3000 Pro, the 2000 Plus, and even the extra batteries for this unit. And by the way, the extra batteries for this unit on the listing, they're still showing the extra battery from the 2000 Plus. They just Photoshopped, they just Photoshopped the 1000 Plus name onto it. So actually the extra batteries for these 1000 Plus models don't have any orange on the side at all. So, you know, they've, they've kind of been working their way um, with the newer and newer models getting rid of orange, like making it just less orange. <laughs> and I think that was just a good idea. I really like that. You know, I, you know, the Jackery brand is orange. And I think it's nice to have the logo, little details, right? Little details like that, that little silicone insert in the handle and the feet on the bottom as well are orange. It's nice to have the little details of orange, but I could do without so much orange on the side. So it would have been nice if we could have just um, had this be all gray on the side there. And I, threw it into Photoshop, you know, there it is <laughs> as usual. So just to kind of, you know, imagine what it would look like. Yeah. So that's just a quick overview of the 1000 plus. Hopefully you just find this helpful or interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching.